And hello there, everybody, and welcome to this latest installment of the FHM6 Hockey Series Brass Bonanza that I have been doing. I'm Big Polly coming to you. We've expanded the length of time uh, that we do these games for you. We're going to do Game of the Month instead of Game of the Week, because I always seem to get around to them uh, once a week, as opposed to, you know, several times a week, as I would like. And... The phone's ringing again. Hold on, folks. Don't you love it when they call and they just waste your time? Anyway, we have played several games in December, and let's see, we won over Montreal, and we lost to Washington, and then we lost to the Rangers at home, and then beat Edmonton on the road, and then lost to Vancouver. So we have, let me see here, won two and lost three. Since we last did a video, we're 17, 8, and 2 on the year right now, 36 points, and we're about third or fourth in the league. Today, they're playing the LA Kings. Hartford is out in Los Angeles, so Hartford has gone Hollywood. Set the lines, continue, and you see the Kings in those beautiful gold jerseys they have. Hartford will be wearing green, and it'll be Doug Keane. Keens in or Kens in goal for Los Angeles. John Garrett uh, will be between the pipes for the Whalers. Let's get this party started. They're in the same division, by the way, Hartford and Los Angeles. And it was Marcel Dion facing off against Rogers. We'll see what happens in this game. Only one shot so far of going to Hartford. Looking for that first goal. The way Hartford's been playing, the goals have been for and against by the bushel. Always seem to be getting into high scoring games, but as I said, Hartford's kind of been slowing down as of late. The hot start they have gotten off to, although we're still like fourth or fifth uh, best team in the league right now in terms of points. And we'll look at the standings after this game ends. And here's the first scoring opportunity. It looks like it's going to go to the Kings. And a goal! And that was Charlie Simmer with the assist from Marcel Dion at 10-10 in the first period. It's 1-0 LA. And very quickly the Kings get it back. And another goal! That's by Garrett. No, Garrett could not get to it. Garrett has given up two goals and seven shots. That was Wilson with assist from Goring and Hampton. And that was 10-24 into the opening period. So, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's 2-0 Kings. Shots are 9-7 Hartford, but the Kings got the uh, scoreboard tallies so far. And now the Kings have a chance to go up 3-0. No, but Hartford steals it. It's Stoughton, and he scores. Bernie Stoughton. Lane Staunton, I'm sorry. Assist by Howe and Bennett, and that was 13:40 into the first period. It's two to one. And let's see. Wilson called for roughing, and that puts Hartford on the power play with 3:31 left opening period. This game was played December 12, 1979. Another breakaway and a goal! That was by Staunton again, number two in the game. That's Howe and Douglas on the assist. Late in the first period, it's now two to two. No, no lead is safe when you play the Hartford Whalers. Into the first period, 14 to 9. Hartford has a shot advantage, but the score is even, 2 to 2. Special hello to the Digital to Dice podcast, getting close to their one year anniversary. Monday nights, usually tonight, Dave and uh, Uncle Ron have their support chat going, and I'm probably missing it as we speak, as I record this. And they actually. 
from what I'm seeing, they haven't started yet at 6.32 Eastern Time. But they might be getting started in a few by the time I have this video done. We are midway through the first period. Here's another scoring chance for Hartford. And that is Mark Howe, an assist from Newfeld and Douglas. 7.43 in the period number two. It's 3-2, Hartford with three unanswered. Cue up that brass bonanza and keep that record on, on standby. That 45, back in the days of vinyl. Midway through the second period, a little beyond that now. 21-15 is the shot tally for Hartford. They were trailing 2 nothing at one point. Now they lead 3-2. Winding down to the end of the third, second period, I should say. Staunton having a good game, so is Mark Howe. Their game rating right now in the 70s. And that's the end of two, it's 3-2 Hartford. We're gonna start period number three. And a goal, quick one, that was Barry Gibbs. No, he does not belong with the BG, still apps with the assists, and we're tied at 3-all. Hartford leading on shots, 27-20. Been a good game so far. Both teams can light the lamp at will and frequently. Lane Stoughton having a good season with the Whalers and Mark Howe gets called for goaltender interference at 624 so the Kings go on a power play for two minutes which in this game takes place in a few seconds 20 10 and that's the end of the power play teams are back to even strength shots are creeping up to even now 29 28 30 28 I always like a high-scoring hockey game. I, I'm not a big fan of the 2-1 to one games. I would much rather see like an 8-7 game, lots of scoring. Because that's the name of the game in hockey, is to score goals. 35-29 is the shot totals now. Hartford's still in front. Kings almost caught up. Two minutes to go. Could we see a tie? And Bennett called for hooking, so L.A. will have the power play the remainder of the game. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Five seconds left. It's Apps who gets called for interference, so they will be even strength for five seconds. And nobody scores. The game ends in a 3-3 tie. Stars of the game were Dion of the Kings, Staunton of the Whalers, Rick Hampton of the Kings. Antonovich had a bad game for Hartford. Garrett had 30, 31 saves and 34 shots. Keynes, 36 shots against, 33 saves. And Hartford still fourth in points, the Kings 12th. And your final was a 3-3 tie, which I believe is only the third tie the uh, Whalers have had. And you see it there. Buffalo leading the Adams at 45 points. Montreal leading the Norris now by a wide margin over Hartford, 9 points, although Hartford has still played two less games. Hartford beat Montreal earlier in the month. Uh, close contest in the Patrick with New York and Philadelphia uh, contending and Washington not too far back. That's the New York Islanders. Out west in the Smythe, it's St. Louis, Edmonton, uh, five points back, but they're a young team, and you have a feeling that they will develop into a dynasty uh, before too much longer. So again, your final, it was a 3-3 tie between uh, Los Angeles and Hartford. We'll play a game uh, representing January for you coming up next, maybe later in the week. Uh, this has been Big Polly coming to you. We'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.